In this video we'll check out part A of number 6 from the 2010 AP exam. And the situation that's presented is really a differential equation. They say solutions to this differential equation also satisfy this. So they basically give us a first derivative. They also give us a second derivative. They tell us that f of x is a particular solution to the differential equation that has this initial condition. When x is 1, the function value is 2. Part A is actually pretty simple, though. Uh, it's easy to kind of overthink part A if, if you just read what they've given you here and don't remember back to something that you learned early on in calculus. It says write the equation for the line tangent to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals 1. So really what we need in part A here is we need the equation of a line either in point slope form, slope intercept form. Uh, we're going to need the slope of the tangent line and to find the slope of the tangent line evaluated at the x value of 1. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to evaluate our derivative at x equals 1. The value of the derivative, even though it's being called a differential equation here, uh, the value of the derivative is still going to be what gives you the slope of your tangent line. So the slope of our tangent line is going to be found by putting 1 in place of the x in dy dx. Now we do have this y in dy dx, but we know that when x is 1, the corresponding y value is 2. So we also have a number to put there. And if you simplify that, you're looking at 1 times 8, which would give you a slope of 8. So all we need to do to finish this up is we need to write down the equation of a line that has this slope and goes through the ordered pair or the point of tangency, 1, 2. And I'm going to use point-slope form. Point-slope form is going to be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Uh, you could have gotten your answer in slope-intercept form too, and I'll just kind of quickly convert this to slope-intercept form in case that's the route you chose to go. And let's see, I'd be distributing my 8, and then I'd be adding my 2 across, and so that would give me in slope-intercept form 8x minus 6. And both of these answers would be acknowledged on the actual AP exam. It's just whatever you're more comfortable with. Point slope form is usually a little bit easier. Uh, there's not really as much room to make mistakes with it. So that's what I typically go with. We'll do part B, which is based on this, in the next video.